Hello, what is going on everybody? Today I will be showing you guys the principle of superposition. Now, this is a very easy principle to understand in terms of geology. Um, and there are four other ones, so five in total. And basically what the principle of superposition says is that in undisturbed sequences of rock, the youngest layer is on top and the oldest layer is on the bottom. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. So this is the most basic example. And what I laid out for you guys is uh, rock sequence one. And generally, it is not going to be square like this in nature, okay? Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot of different shapes going on with the layering. But I did this to simplify it the best that I can. So basically what we have is rock layers A, B, C, and D. And I have an arrow over here pointing upward. Uh, and basically this arrow indicates that as you go higher in the rock layers, they get younger. And vice versa, um, if you drew an arrow downward, the rock layers would be getting older. So that means rock layer A is the youngest and rock layer D is the oldest. So as you go upward, D is the oldest, C would be the, the second oldest, B would be the third oldest, and A would be the fourth or, or the youngest. So I hope you guys have caught on by now. Um, this is rock sequence two. Uh, I have a question, and it is which layer of rock is the oldest and which is the youngest? Now again, from the law of superposition or principle of superposition, right, that we can refer back to, the youngest layer is on top and the oldest layer is on the bottom, right? That's all we need to answer this question. So the limestone being on the top means it's going to be the youngest. And obviously that means the granite is going to be the oldest. And it's as simple as that, guys. I mean, it's very, very um, super easy to understand. And I hope I broke it down in a way that was very simplified. Um, and that really is all for today. Uh, thanks for joining me and have a good one.